Deanna Chambers and today is day 34 of 365 days of no alcohol and today I got to discover what it was like to be sober at a birthday party. Yes, but before we go there, can we just recap on yesterday's video? It's a, you know, super high profile, just kidding. But um, I will tell you a little bit about it tomorrow. Did you see the whole strap thing? That was really funny and I had to do a little, a little, uh, recap slash rewind really quick because I was just like chirping when I when I recorded that video yesterday I was I just done an audition at a long day and I was just like very enthusiastic a little probably delirious short on sleep um, <laughs> but I just thought I would rewind um, if you thought that was funny let me know I want to know below uh, but yeah so anyways back to this party I went to my boyfriend's friend's birthday party uh, in West Hollywood and it was fun but initially when I went I was feeling really worried kind of angry and frustrated because I didn't want to go to a party where everyone was going to be drinking and I was the only sober one um, if you remember from my video yesterday I also did go to a party that night and there was a lot of drinking but a lot of people were not drunk so I didn't really notice the difference of not drinking but at this party um, from day 34 there was a big difference because literally like 9 out of 10 people were either tipsy or drunk like everyone most people had been drinking so I was one sober person of many um, probably in the top 3% I would say of sober people at that party and there was nothing wrong with that but I completely judged it I was frustrated I had a little bit of social anxiety going into the situation and I was like I'm not gonna have a good time I just want to like go go with my boyfriend, support his friend, and I want to come home. Like, I was very frustrated. And then I realized when I got there that I was in judgment, and what ended up happening was really funny. This, um, this really funny guy was, like, super drunk, and he was, like, dancing all around and, like, you know, like, really getting into it. And it was so funny, but what ended up happening was he started looking at me, and he was like, yeah, you dance, you dance. I know, I know you could probably beat me. And I was like, maybe because I'm sober no I'm just kidding um, I am a former dancer so I was confident about my dance skills but he's like yeah I know you're better than me like come and dance and I was like no I'm good like I haven't been drinking he's like it doesn't matter and it, there's this moment where I was like yeah it doesn't matter why do I have to drink to dance why do I have to drink to have a good time and ironically we started having this like serious conversation and he's a very successful guy in the movie industry on the finance side and he's just very successful very uh, accomplished and it was funny because the judgment that I was placing on everyone else around me wasn't true like just because people were drinking doesn't mean that they can't have articulate intelligent conversations in fact when I used to drink I had conversations like that all the time so it was funny now being on the other side that I was slightly judging and when I noticed it and shifted out of it like I had a great experience and I'm gonna go to parties in the future where people are drinking over the next you know ten and a half months um, and that's okay like I don't have to drink to have a good time or connect with people either and it was just a great lesson to learn I went from anger and frustration to contentment just enjoying where I was at I didn't have like an amazing time but I didn't have a bad time and I went for a brief time with my boyfriend and then we, when we were ready to go we left whereas before when I would drink I would like turn up and be there way too long and be unhappy the next day you know how that goes hashtag hangover uh yeah and i don't have to deal with that anymore like i'm creating balance in my life still having a good time without having to drink and i can still have a good time with others even if they're drinking uh and that i don't need to come from a place of judgment or worry or anxiety about being in those environments because as long as i'm being me then i'm gonna have a great time i'm gonna have at least a good time in those environments because i'm being true to myself authentic and having a good time and I can still dance and get down cue music without drinking so this was day 34 go ahead like subscribe share you know the deal and I'll see you guys tomorrow this is 365 days of no alcohol I'm Deanna Chambers see you then bye